Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we're going to be continuing on with our Pokemon clone. Um, there's a couple of things I've been doing, uh, a couple of which I'm going to show you today. Um, the first which is something that's been bugging me about my code is I've had to quadruple my workload for um, setting everything up to work with the buttons in the battle system. So I'm gonna do something pretty extreme right now. So you're probably like, oh my God, what is he doing? Like he spent all this time on this. Well, I'm gonna delete it, Let's get, it's gone, right? It's gone. I don't wanna to have to quadruple everything four times. I wanna do it once and have it work once uh, for whatever button I press. And I've already done it. I've actually already done it. Um, <laughs> I, um, it's already working. Basically, uh, what I've done is uh, I actually added a variable into our battle widget called move ID. Um, and depending on, so if you remember correctly uh, down here when we're having our attack button cell, they're actually set up to a, um, they're actually set up to a uh, move ID that from our move slot which is zero, one, two, or three. And what I've done is I've set the move ID depending on what button we're pressing. So if you remember four is one, uh, four is zero, three is one, two is two, and one is three, I believe. So yeah, four is zero, three is one, uh, two is two, and one is three, yeah. So I've set these move IDs up so that uh, whatever button I press, it will set it to that number so that it knows what move to get for me. And then over in our battle proxy, all I've done is, again, if you remember, we create the battle widget on the when it begins, and um, we set this um, as a variable that we can call other variables from. So all I've done is I've got the move ID and plugged it in to where we were setting our move ID manually. We were doing it for all four. We was zero, one, two, three, four, all the way down. So now we can just use the event move slot four press. So if you look here, uh, you can see where I've edited it. Um, it we, we're now just calling the one. So I can change the name of that. We, we don't need the three, two, or one anymore. Uh, we can just use the four press button for all of them. And it's driven through the uh, the move ID instead of um, us manually setting it. And um, you can see where I've obviously started to do the enemy uh, attacking. But yeah, now we can basically go into our game. And uh, we can use any move and it will just take it from the... Uh, move ID instead of us manually setting all four up. So now we're working from one code. So I've streamlined everything. It's working a lot more efficiently uh, and we don't have to mess around repeating our code down the line. So you can see it's already taking all his uh, defense down and then when we attack now we should do a little bit more. Um, and as you can see I have started to set up the fact that they are attacking back now. So that's another thing that's set up. And if we go into our party now, oh, it's not updated that. Okay, uh, there's an issue there with that, but that's fine, we can fix that. No worries. Um, so yeah, so we've now got this, um, it was fixed, admittedly. But if we go back into the event here, uh, it, it remembers our health. So we're half health now. The other thing I've done is I've set up an invisible Nurse Joy here. So if I go over here and press E a bunch of times and I go back into the grass, I should have full health now. There is full health, so it heals us now. And I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple uh, code as well. Uh, it's just, um, it's probably actually one of the simplest things I've done for this Pokemon uh, course. But let's um, go over to our Nurse Joy. So it's just a collision box that detects whether the player is in those bounds um, and we're enabling an input and that input is just E for us. Uh, it's a little bit messy because I, I, I did this very quick. 
but basically all you're doing I haven't done this for everyone yet uh, I've just done this for slot one uh, I will update all of this stuff when we um, have more creatures in the party but you can literally do this you literally just pull off uh, slot two and do exactly the same thing all the way down and all I'm doing is I'm taking all of our information pushing it through but we're breaking that final stat and we're setting our HP back to the max our attack back to the max, our defense back to the max, SP, you get the idea. We're, we're just basically setting everything back to its max so that um, any stat changes as well get fixed in the healing process. And you would do this for slot 2, slot 3, slot 4. You would just copy this exact thing over. You can literally, I can do it now, just copy and paste. And you would just plug slot 2 in, um, uh, etc. all the way down until all of them are done. And that way, when you heal everything gets healed at the same time so let's do slot three for now um, I'll just do a couple I'm not gonna do all of them right now um, but there's slot three and there's slot three. Uh, and you would just do this all the way down and all it's gonna do is heal any stat conditions any um, uh, health etc <coughs> Uh, now I haven't obviously touched upon doing like poisoning and sleep and frozen um, attacks yet. Um, I will cover those at some point uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in a sense that um, it's like a stat check so you have three or four stat. So again if you're paralyzed, frozen, poisoned or asleep, things like that. Uh, it would just check to see if any of those were true. If they are, it will just set them all to untrue. That's how I'm probably going to do that in, in here. Uh, but that will probably come under uh, some individual um, effect. But that's that's something I will cover when I actually come around to doing that. But again, that should be easy in this scenario because all you're doing is setting them to false or not or clearing it or, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, so very, very simple stuff. But it is effective enough that it obviously heals our team up now. Um, so that's that. Uh, the next thing I will be covering is how to set up the enemy attacks. Uh, again, should be relatively simple um, to do. Um, yeah. But thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. And I will see you uh, in the next episode. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.